Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Okay, I hadn't planned on recording um, this, but I had a little disaster at the uh, iron farm. Um, the villager that should be in this bed here got out. How did he get out? Um, well, I think it was my fault. Uh, so I was trying to expand my uh, storage here a little bit and um, put a few additional chests in. But because of the way I have the water flowing over, uh, the, the annoying thing is that the... Uh, the water wants wants to flow everywhere, so it got out and spilled over here, merged with these, and flew flowed down into here and obsidianized my whole lava pit. Um, and so now I, that happened while I was you know building it in the first place. So it's like okay, I can deal with that. I need to get rid of these water sources and then it, it creates new water sources in a few other places because of Minecraft's bizarro water mechanics so I oh well, these guys are trying to go to sleep um, so I uh, so I went down I put down blocks but when I put down a block here and I was like oh why do these guys stay in the bed I put I accidentally I was over here I was trying to put the block there but I accidentally did it there, which put it here, which then gave this guy a block where he could jump down without taking damage. So he did. So he ran away. I don't know where he went to go hide, but he's right here. So he did not go upstairs and I think he's just a generic villager right now. Did not. Yes, he's, he's still unemployed. The last time that we had a little villager break, um, they ran upstairs and found the barrel in the the pointed dripstone farm, and um, and took on became a fisherman, which is cute. And so, okay, so now I think the farm is disabled because there's only two of these guys here. So I. Put a new tube of glass around here to hold him in. I built a new um, ramp to get up here. A block so that basically there's nowhere for villager to go except for down where I want him. I put this block here just in case somebody else showed up and I didn't want them walking up there. And this guy kind of showed up. I think he may have wandered into one of the caves over here. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe he wandered into into there, which would be dangerous. Well, not really, because that spawner's disabled. So, let me get my rail down here, and let's get him back into place and see if we can get the farm to work again. Hi, thank you for your service. Please work the way I expect. Okay, what did he do? Oh, he's standing right there. Okay, this has happened before. That's fine. I I, I can deal with this. Again, I have absolutely no problem using an iron glove with these guys because... Oh, did he go down in? He did, because he wanted to go to sleep. And new iron golem. Farm is working again. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's clean up. That's interesting, because I wouldn't think from here he'd be able to see the zombie. But that's fine. I don't mind losing all these blocks. But I will lose a lot of them. I can get rid of this. I get rid of this. So just remember, don't put blocks right down there. Any block. That block has to stay. Uh, this block does not. 
get rid of all this. Make sure he doesn't have any other place to escape to. And the farm is going once again. Awesome. Obviously, again, I was going to have to go up and grab another villager from the breeder. Made me glad that I didn't left the whole bridge and rail system there. Um, but he just showed up. He was like, please let me go back to my bed. So I did. Okay, so that worked a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought there was going to be a lot more drama making that work. So. This farm produces so much iron. For being such a small, compact little farm, it is ridiculous how much iron it produces. Uh, I already pulled like three blocks of iron, three stacks of iron blocks out, including my chest upstairs. Um, and. So, I wanted to expand the storage. I put, I now have, look at that. That, not that. So, I put this one down below. I don't know why, but this is where most of the drops end up going. That's fine. Um, and I, what I want to do is I want to fill things up. And so that when people come and this is kind of like the backup supply. And when people come and grab, I want to, I want to like fill this with iron and poppies. Hey, dude. Thank you. Ah, okay. So I think we're back online. So very good. If I can sleep, I can sleep and help them out. I need to go clean up after myself, but sleep and wake up. And there we go. So, yep, this thing is producing during the daytime, daytime hours. This produces about a golem a minute. Oh, and I created some additional space over here, and I was going to start filling these up for as kind of backup. I was going to block up stuff here. So, but I added the four chests here, and because I've got water flowing over a hopper up there, where actually it was, like, here. Removing... Removing blocks in order to add the hopper to add these chests just ended in disaster. But I took her back up and running, and I think that's it. So, this is a quickie little bonus short. I guess YouTube shorts. Is that a thing? I think that's a thing. Um, so, there we go. Just want to do that up there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. All right? Bye.